What exactly is this coronavirus? How do people get it? How can I protect myself and my family? And how do I know if I have been infected? Are there any vaccines or prevention? Are there any treatment? Today in this video, I will answer all of these questions and more and tell you all that you need to know about the new coronavirus infection. Hello, my name is Dr. Malik Haruna King and do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel for free health and wellness videos. Now, coronaviruses are a large group, a large family of viruses found in both animals and humans. And some of them infect people and are known to cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as SARS severe acute respiratory syndrome now the new or novel coronavirus had not been previously detected before the outbreak was reported in wuhan china in december 2019 as with other respiratory illnesses infection with the new coronavirus can cause mild symptoms including a runny nose sore throat cough and fever and it can be more severe for some persons and can lead to pneumonia or breathing difficulties furthermore sometimes this disease can be deadly and cause death now how does this virus spread it is a respiratory virus that spreads primarily through contact with an infected person through respiratory droplets generated when a person for example coughs or sneezes or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. It is still not known how long the new coronavirus survives on surfaces, although information suggests the virus may survive a few hours to a few days. It is important to note that simple disinfectants can actually kill the virus, making it no longer possible to infect people. Now, can humans become infected by an animal? The animal source of the new coronavirus has not yet been identified. Now, this does not mean you can catch it from any animal or from your pet. It is likely that an animal source from a live animal market in China was responsible for some of the first reported human infection in December 2019. At present, there is no evidence that companion animals or pets such as cats or dogs have been infected or have spread the new coronavirus. Now, who is at risk of developing severe illnesses out of all the people who get infected? Now, while we still need to learn more about how the new coronavirus affects people thus far, older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions like diabetes or heart disease appear to be more at risk of developing severe form of the disease. What's the difference between the new coronavirus and flu? People with the new coronavirus, the flu or cold, typically develop respiratory symptoms such as fever, cough, and runny nose. Because of their similarities, it can be difficult to identify the disease based on symptoms alone. That is why laboratory tests are required to confirm if someone has the new coronavirus. What can I do to protect myself? First and most importantly, wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if your hands are not visibly dirty now this eliminates the virus if it is on your hands next maintain social distancing maintain at least one meter that's three feet distance between yourself and other people especially those who are coughing sneezing and have a fever now when someone who is infected coughs or sneezes they project small droplets containing the virus if you are too close you can breathe in the virus next avoid touching your eyes nose and mouth your hands can touch many surfaces that can be contaminated with the virus and if you touch your eyes nose or mouth with your contaminated hands you can transfer the virus from the surface to yourself now next if you have fever cough and difficulty breathing 
seek medical care early. Also, tell your healthcare provider if you have traveled in an area in China or locations where the new virus has been reported or if you have been in close contact with someone who has traveled from China and has respiratory symptoms. Respiratory symptoms with fever can have a range of causes and depending on your personal travel history and circumstances, the new coronavirus could be one of them. If you have mild respiratory symptoms and have no travel history to or within China or any of the locations that have been reported, carefully practice basic respiratory and hand hygiene and stay home until you have recovered if possible. Now, should I wear a mask to protect myself? It is important to know that wearing a mask can help limit the spread of some respiratory diseases. However, using a mask alone is not guaranteed to stop infections and should be combined with other prevention measures including hand and respiratory hygiene and avoiding close contact. Also, in all practicality, the wearing of masks should be for those with some kind of flu-like symptoms. If the infection is not suspected and you don't have any symptoms, wearing of the mask may not be needed or helpful. Well, before putting on a mask, wash your hands with alcohol-based hand sanitizer or soap and water. Cover your mouth and nose with the mask and make sure that there are no gaps between your face and the mask and avoid touching the mask while using it. And if you do, clean your hands with alcohol-based hand sanitizer or soap and water and replace the mask with a new one as soon as it is damp or wet and do not reuse single-use mask to remove the mask remove it from behind do not touch the front of the mask and discard immediately into a closed bin then wash your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. Now, is it safe to receive a package from a place where the virus has been identified? Yes, it is safe. Now, people receiving packages are not at risk of contracting the new coronavirus. From experience with other coronaviruses, we know that these types of viruses don't survive long on objects such as letters or packages. Are antibiotics effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus? No, antibiotics do not work against viruses. They only work on bacterial infections. Are there any medicines to prevent or treat the new coronavirus? To date and as at the time of shooting this video, there is no specific medicine recommended to prevent or treat the infection. However, those infected should receive appropriate care to relieve and treat symptoms and those with severe illness should receive optimized supportive care. Now, some specific treatments are under investigation and will be tested through clinical trials. You should be aware of some fake cures that are circulating around. The following measures are not recommended as remedies as they are not effective to protect yourself and can be even harmful. Taking vitamin C is not effective. Smoking is not effective. Drinking traditional herbal teas is not effective. Wearing multiple masks to maximize protection does not provide any additional protection. And taking self-medication such as antibiotics is not effective against the viral infection. Now to conclude, here are the safety tips you need. Clean hands with soap and water or with alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Cover your nose and your mouth when coughing and sneezing with a tissue or flexed elbow. Avoid close contact with anybody with cold or flu-like symptoms. Thoroughly cook meat and eggs. Avoid unprotected contact with live animals. Did you learn anything new today? Don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed to this channel and check the description section for a free ebook titled Fire Your Doctor. Take charge of your health and happiness.